What is going on? Welcome to the International Farmer, everybody. It is the 27th of April, 2022. We got eight mods and one update to look at and uh, some interesting stuff. Cool. It's uh, Here's our showcase. We actually got uh, this wacky looking 1120 series is what it's called. It's the Lizard brand made by Senior Vertex and ZT Modding. Uh, we got it customized pretty crazy. Uh, this is many different style customizations. As you can see, the tracks are wild looking. And we got the big protection grid on the front. Um, the uh, cultivator, the disc, is also made by Mr. Senior Vertex and Tick Modding, T-I-I-K. So both of these are by the same, uh, well, Senior Vortex anyway. Vertex, not Ver Vortex, Vertex. Uh, that's the Lizard STAC450 and EST Matic 300. We'll take a look at both of these. Uh, so there it is. That's our showcase of the day. We will, of course, check out everything. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Let's get to it. So we'll start with the 1120 series tractor here. It's going to cost you $50,000. Very affordable. Uh, we got a horse power range between 230 and 360 horsepower. Manual transmission, 840 liter fuel tank, 23 miles per hour, weighing 25.0 ton. Um, uh, I have it set up with those crazy looking tracks, but if you don't like that, you don't need to do that. Uh, right here, we have additional tanks. You can do round tank square tank or none uh, we have trail borg with standard twin wheels standard two with twin wheels standard three with twins standard four standard and there you go we also have bkt we'll just kind of run through the options there lot of different setups and we got continental we got Midas a lot of different setups to your heart's desire this one has six Dang. and we got Michelin which are a lot bigger than the other ones I like those the standard those are pretty cool looking those are Michelin's Tons of tire options. Then we got Lizard. This is where they get interesting. We got Twins. Rice tires. Rice double twins. And then there's those crawler tracks that we have on the setup I made. And then you have transport tires. So if you're wanting to put this on a low boy and transport it to a work site, you could always throw these on. To make it easier to, uh, you know, load up and get off and off uh, on and off a trailer and then back to standard all right we do have lights we have standard we have an led led bar we can put on top we have cab headlights which i think are awesome or you can do cab lights and led bar antenna we have no or we have yes that'll add an antenna right there then we have an antenna px which i'm not okay that puts a box inside here your antenna box then we have glass standard medium strong so you can get that tent going if you'd like front protection grid no or yes and it is a big protection grid it's massive and then after that we have accessories so you can have none or you can have an outdoor toolbox which puts a toolbox right somewhere right there this little black toolbox here so toolbox then we have a water reservoir right here a thermal bottle to put inside or you can have all accessories why not and then for attachers we have standard back here or you can do a three point attach or standard interior says no you can have an extinguisher right there back next to your driver's seat toolbox or tools and fire extinguisher or none 
horns. We can even throw some big old horns on here. There's one, there's two, and there's double horns or none. Engine horsepower, we have 230, 280, 320, 360, back to 230. And then monitor and star fire, we have none. You can do a green star four monitor inside the tractor. You can do a star fire 3000, a star fire 6000, or none. Main colors, we got any, any you want. They got a lot of different green ones in here. I guess that's their favorite color. <laughs> but you can paint it uh, red or whatever floats your boat. Additional tanks, you can make those any color you want. That's going to be this tank right here. And there you go. After all the customizations, you're still not spending a whole lot of money on this tractor. Pretty cool, man. Let's fire it up. And before we do that, let's check out the uh, Lizard Stack 450 EST Matic 300. That's what's connected to the tractor. This is also by Senior Vertex and Tick Modding. It's going to cost $20,000. It requires 240 horsepower, weighing 6.4 ton, 5.2 meter width, 8 miles per hour. It's a subsoiler. It can also be used instead of a plow. So you got the Stack 450 decals, or you can put the Matic 300 decals. It's not gonna change anything, just if you want a different look to the decals. Main colors, anything you want. Uh, we got a lot of choices here. So there you go. So that's what's hooked up to the tractor. Let's fire this by a boy up, come on. Put those lights on. We got three stages of lights, one, two and three let's turn on those beacons not seeing any light coming from the led let's make sure there's not an option for that doesn't seem like there is right, i want to try this horn out Got like a truck horn to it. Check the interior out. Nice and fresh. There's our toolbox, our fire extinguisher. We got a, a wrench sitting down in there. There's our water container there. There's that tank, extra tank in the back. Nice, I like it. Put one stage of lights on. All right, let's lower this cultivator, also made by Senior Vertex. So this is a subsoiler. This is definitely going to get deeper into the ground than a cultivator. And that's why we're seeing much bigger rocks pop up. And missed a spot. Imagine that. I'm known for that. I think I forgot to uh, put the higher horsepower on. That's why we're struggling a little bit. But look at those tracks in action. Very nice. Pretty cool. Alright, let's get that lifted up. That's what it looks like when you're in transport mode there. Yeah, she moves a lot faster when it's not digging into the ground. <laughs> yeah, I think I set up the wrong horsepower, but there you go. Pretty cool combo, huh? Things mean looking. And very affordable. Beacons off, lights off. Should or die. We can also open the door, I believe. Yep. We can open the door to get out. And the seat adjusts and everything. That's cool. Very nice. All right, let's take a look at the rest of today's mods. All right, next up, we're going to take a look at the Robert Bale Fork Pack. And this is by ETA La Marjois. And uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different attachments to the Robert Bale Fork Pack, uh, all ranging from things to pick up your bales 
which all four of those are. That one, that one. This is for round bales. And then we got these other different, I mean, they're all for picking up bales. Uh, we'll just kind of breeze through these. We got telehandler option pickup on this one, wheel loader, skid steer, front loader, JCB, and then back to telehandler. We can also change the color of the, uh, the grips or the forks, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so that's a cool looking one right there. What else we got here? We got this one right here. This one's going to be $4,300 here. A little taller. Oh, just clicked on that one. My bad. Here we got the additional forks. We're getting taller as we go here. And each of them get a little heavier as well. All of them do telehandler. Wheels, skid steer, front loader, JCB, telehandler. So you can mix them up with different style uh, machinery. All right, this one's $7,300 and getting even taller. We got one, two, three. You could probably do a stack of three or four with that bad boy. Then we got the round bale picker upper. $3,800, $3,755 for this one. All right, this one has a second ball stopper. So you could do one or two. Very nice. And we got the bigger ones here for uh, like your big square bales would be good to use this for. We got additional fork option standard or additional forks. And this one's getting a little taller. It looks like these can extend higher. I bet if we uh, had one, we'd be able to make that go higher up in the air. I've used other ones before by Robert and you usually can adjust that so you could do a bigger stack. There you go. Nice little mold there. Nice package. And up after that, we have the John Deere 825 by Rooster Mods and 46 Mods. Uh, this is a hoe. It pulls out small and medium grown weeds between crops, improving the field state. They can be used in the first growing stages of crops. It's going to cost you $5,250. It only requires 50 horsepower, weighs 1.1 ton with a 4.6 meter width, operating at 6 miles an hour. Uh, we can attach warning equipment to it. Get those triangles on there. There's reflector strips. And reflector strips with the triangle or none. Guide coulters, no. Guide coulters, yes. Right there. These will make it a little easier for you to stay on lawn, eh? Nice looking mod there for John Deere lovers. All right, up after that, we have the Lizard T25A and T30A80 tractors. Uh, these are by Wisnia Games 239. I will take a peek at these real quick. This is $9,000 for the T25A, 30 horsepower, manual transmission, 53 liters, 17 miles per hour at 2.5 ton. And there's a good look at that. Very small, nice for uh, some small farm in here. Uh, we got design nothing. Work lamp one, work lamp two, and work lamp on both sides. Uh, cabins without, you can put a standard cabin on there. Or a nice little canopy, isn't that lovely? There's a different style canopy, or without. Kind of like that one right there. Uh, we can have a hook, we can have the old hook, or a new hook. Right here, kind of hard to see, but old or new. Gearbox, old, new. It's going to be hard to see without actually being in there. But you can see way down there, the new one gives you another uh, shifter stick to uh, use. Weights without, we have weight number one, two, three, four, or without. Wheel setup, we got standard. Second setup, higher back. Higher back two, standard. Main color, whoa, they're all bright. Here's a lighter red. Design color, we could do a bright yellow. <laughs> and then rim color, we got a big choice of old faded looking colors here. Here's ivory, right, that'd be nice. And then license plate back and front. You know what, we're gonna buy that real quick. I'm interested to see what this thing sounds like. Oh, wow. That is little. Whew. That is very small, very small. Oh, 
<laughs> well, I'll be done. Alright, doesn't have any options to uh, do anything, you know, graphically. I like the sound of it. One, two, three stages of lights. Flashers. Doesn't have beacons on it. Look at this thing. What's she sound like? That is one ugly looking tractor, but I like it. <laughs> this thing looks like it can fit right between uh, the orchards no problem there oh yeah pretty cool I like it I'm glad I checked it out here Not bad, not bad. All right, let's check out the other one as well. We got the bigger one. That's the T3880. That is $13,000, and it has two more horsepower than the first one. 32 horsepower, 53 liter fuel tank, manual transmission, 17 miles an hour at 2.6 ton. Uh, looks kind of like the first one, but I guess just a hair more powerful. Same options, it looks like. Cabins, we got this one, the Peak, the A3 or without. Um, we do have the same, yeah, pretty much same options here. Wheel set up higher, higher, back, standard. Main color, let's see here. Let's do an orange, the black, and then rim color. We can do gray. Let's see if it probably sounds exactly the same. These are so tiny. Look how little these are. These are so little. Good for orchard work. Yep. Same as the other one. Pretty cool, though. All right, let's check out the rest of today's mods. Sorry, I had to check those tractors out. Those were cool. All right, next we have the Lizard Timber Carrier by North Modding Company right here. Uh, this is a vehicle that can transport tree logs. It's not a vehicle, though. It's a carrier, so you're going to want to attach this to a wheel loader or whatever, something that'll scoop it up. It's got fork slots. It's going to cost 1000 bucks. weighs 500 kilogram. And uh, there we go. Yeah, we got wheel loader connection. Wheel loader 2 on the other side. Wheel loader three on either side. So it's for a wheel loader. Uh, we can change the colors any way you like. There you go. The timber carrier. And throw quite a few cut logs in there. That's pretty cool. I like that. Then we got the lizard fuel safe. This is also by North Modding Company. It's a tank that transports liquids. Costs 3000 bucks. Again, it looks like we're going to have to connect it with a wheel loader. Maybe some other attachments. 1,700 liters of fuel it can carry. Weighs 450 kilogram. And uh, maybe you can attach with anything. Yeah, that looks like a three-point hitch. So you could hook that up to anything. And it's got placards on there. Fuel and yeah, very nice. Looks like a big old lunchbox. Uh, we can change the colors any way we like. Very nice. I like that. And then we have a lightweight by Mantrid. This is going to cost you 300 bucks. Weighs 2.4 ton. Very heavy weight here. Uh, that'll help you keep the balance of your tractor while it's pulling different equipment, working in the fields. We have a lighting setup, no or yes. You got some standard lights on there. Front only. Front and sides. Back only. Or back and sides. Or no sides. Interesting. Uh, weight, okay, you can adjust the weight. You can do 100, 250, 500, 750, 1 ton, 1.3 ton, 1.5, 1.8, 2 ton, 2.5. 
three ton. Holy cow, 3.5. You can go all the way to 3.5 ton on this bad boy. So it, this weight can work on whatever tractor you like. Uh, lighting shadows, yes or no, okay. A beacon, ooh, you can throw a beacon on that. Got a few different designs. Wow, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine different beacon designs. That's awesome. Uh, we got decals, standard, large, easier to read if you're old like me. And then we got different colors galore. Uh, let's do this. Design color, we'll do white. Or we'll do blue. Okay, that's gonna be these pieces here. And then telescopic color. Ain't that green. That's gonna be the attachments to the lights. That's a fancy way right there. That's pretty cool, mate. I like that. That's pretty good, Radar. Oh, I think we just covered everything, everybody. Yes, that's it. Uh, we'll go check out that update real quick. All right, we only got one update today, and that is the LA Campaign Pack by Valentin Lecut and Nico Du 55 uh, if you were using this trailer, make sure you get it updated on the new change log. We have fixed animation on the 8532. So animation has been changed. Probably going to be on this thing here. Something changed on the animation. Not sure exactly what it is, but make sure you get that updated right there. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Only eight mods and one update. Another light day. This whole week's been kind of a light mod week. Uh, but nonetheless, got some cool new stuff, so go try it out, enjoy it, have a great day. It's the International Farmer, I'm signing off, we'll see you next time guys, have a good one.